Hello guys, my name is Mathur and welcome to my channel. This is the 40th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell programming. In this tutorial, we're going to check out the until loop, which is only slightly different from the while loop that we checked out in the previous tutorial. If you guys remember, in while, uh, the while block gets executed if the test condition that's placed within the square bracket evaluates to true. In the case of until, however, the until block gets executed if the test condition evaluates to false. So that's the only difference between while and until. And if you know while and if you understood the script in the previous tutorial, then this is uh, gonna be a minute's play for you. So let's not waste any more time. I have my text editor here and I've saved this uh, file in the home folder, given it the name until and the extension sh. Right. So what the script is going to do is it's going to behave in the same way as the script in the previous tutorial did. That is, it's going to display numbers from 1 to 10 on screen. So on the first line, I'm going to put a comment until loop in action. OK, and uh, this really isn't necessary. I don't even know why I do this in every tutorial. Right. But um, anyway, so on the next line, I'm going to uh, declare and initialize my control variable for the loop and I'm gonna call it count C O U N T and uh, I'm gonna give it the value 1 because we want to start printing our numbers from 1 onwards right on the next line I'm gonna put the keyword until and uh, I'll give a space and within square brackets I'll put my test condition now for a while our test condition was that dollar count uh, we checked if dollar count was less than equal to 10 or not Right? But in this case, since we want the test condition to evaluate to false, we are not going to use the hyphen LE operator. Instead, we're going to use the hyphen GE operator. Right? So we're going to check if dollar count is uh, greater than or equal to 10, which uh, for the first iteration, it's definitely not because count initially is 1 and uh, it's not greater than or equal to 10, of course. So um, just as uh, for a while, in case of until, we put all our uh, executable statements between the keywords do and done. So on the fourth line, I'm going to put the keyword do. And on the fifth line, I'm going to put the keyword done. And uh, all my statements for the until block are going to go between do and done. Right? So the first statement is going to be to display the variable. So dollar, uh, echo dollar count. Echo will do the job for me. And on the next line, I'm going to use expr to increment the value of count. So expr dollar count plus one. Make sure to put a space immediately before and after the addition symbol if you're using expr because uh, uh, you know if you won't do that then expr will return an error. And uh, I'll put the expression within reverse quotes since we are concerned uh, just with the output of this expression. And I'll assign count the output of this expression. Right. So the script is complete now, and I'll save it. And I'll uh, bring up my terminal and execute it until dot sh. And there you go. You see numbers from 1 to 9. And uh, the reason why you don't see uh, 10 is because we've used hyphen ge. If you would use uh, hyphen gt, then you would see 10 as well. Wait a second. Let me first uh, clear the screen. There you go. Now you see numbers from 1 to 10. So let me talk you guys through the script once again. We have used hyphen GT operator here because we wanted this test condition to evaluate to false. And while this condition will evaluate to false or until this condition gets a true value, the until block will keep on getting executed. So count is equal to one and it is not greater than 10. So execute the until loop. Then we will increment uh, the variable and uh, count for the next iteration will get the value two. Two is not greater than 10, well, um, execute it again, execute the until block. Then count gets three, three is not greater than 10, execute the until block again. And this will keep on happening till count will get the value 11. And once count gets the value 11, 11 is of course greater than 10. So, you know, that would be the time when uh, until will, keep, uh, will stop executing its uh, statements, right? So um, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was uh, worth your time and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial where we'll discuss something interesting. Please subscribe to my channel.